please welcome Vice President of AI and Machine Learning, Danny Lay. Thank you, thank you. Good evening. You know, at, Un at Unity, we are committed to democratizing development. And in an effort to provide you with the very best tools for game creation, we are making machine learning available to you all. We are committed to lowering the barriers of entry so that you can use machine learning uh, as an integral part of your game development. Machine learning, we know that it can be expensive, it can be difficult to master, and it can be time consuming. But it can also make your games and your game development easier, and in particular, make your games more fun to play for your players. As developers with machine learning, we no longer have to program every solution, every NPC, every permutation, of a, what a person may, may, how a person may interact with a game. We can make systems learn instead. Like people learn from the environment and respond to it, we can make systems learn the same way. In our goal of democratizing machine learning, we uh, have created ML agents. Unity ML agents is an open source AI toolkit that helps developers and researchers train agents uh, in realistic, complex scenarios with a very realistic 3D environment from the Unity engine. In our latest release of ML Agents.3, uh, we have many new features, but uh, there's one very important feature called imitation learning. With imitation learning, a system can learn from real people playing, and it can be trained to adjust to your players. Instead of building an NPC through conventional code, uh, writing lines and lines of C Sharp, you can, you, can, uh, you can create it through imitation learning, which will deal with your game environment in a much more organic manner. It will not play perfectly like a robot, but rather imperfectly like a real player. The most exciting part of imitation learning in ML agents is that training happens in real time. So let me show you a demonstration featuring assets from Cybernetic Walrus and their soon to be released game, Anti Graviator, a futuristic racing game. In a racing game, you neither want the NPC vehicles to lose too quickly, nor do you want them to leave your players in the dust. The appropriate level of challenge is what keeps the game engaging. This is a beautiful 3D game. We're going to slow it down a bit so that you can see how the machine is being trained here. When I slow it down, it will lose some of its magic but I want you to see clearly what is happening uh, when we are training. You will see a human on your left side, and you will see uh, the agent on the right side. Let's take a look. Early on, you will see that the, the machine, the agent, is crashing. It's trying over and over while the human is doing really great. Uh, it is learning bit from bit, yeah, from the human, literally. But look here, after just 25 seconds of real-time training, the agent is actually doing pretty well. It's still wobbly, it's not perfect, uh, while the human still feed this agent uh, bit by bit training data. And after uh, five minutes of training, uh, you will see that the agent is doing really well. The reason that it's doing so well is, of course, that Mike, our evangelist who trained this agent, is actually very good. You may actually say he's a little too good, uh, because if he would have been crashing a little more, the agent would sort of have learned to, to crash as well. Now, 
Machine learning is at the center of everything we do, powering the entire Unity ecosystem. But more than that, machine learning insights allow us to build tools that optimize your games for ret retention and engagement. We know that more than 50% of the one-star reviews in the Google Play Store uh, it mentioned performance issues, which makes it one of the most important challenges that we can help you solve. As a Unity developer, I can easily develop for iOS and Android. That's, that's simple. But we know there's more to it than that. There's iPhone 10, and there's the Google Pixel 2. There's uh, Samsung Galaxy S7, but there's also an iPhone 6 and a lot of other iPhone models, yeah? In fact, there are more than 50,000 smartphone models currently in use across the world. It's a lot of phones, a lot of different models. Yeah. So now you're left with two options. One option is to build for the high-end devices and put in all the effects and graphics that you can imagine, but risk crashing on the lower end or older devices. Yeah? You could also, on the other hand, choose to aim for the low-end devices and not really fully execute on your vision for the high-end devices. Yeah? We don't want you to really have to make that choice. There is a better way. And it's called Unity Live Tune. Unity Live Tune optimizes uh, performance settings dynamically for every device in real time. It adjusts the assets, effects, and rendering for each phone model, giving the best possible experience for a player on a given device. Envisio, an independent game studio in Montreal, uh, use Live Tune with their game roller coaster Tycoon Touch. Live Tune addressed key performance issues and improved Android players' long term retention with a whooping 33%. That's actually amazing. Yeah. Thank you. But, Let's take this a step further. I just discussed improving gameplay at the cohort level of devices, of phone models. Yeah? But what about optimizing for the individual player? The first step we are taking in that direction is IAP promo. IAP promo surfaces the best possible in-app promotions to each player based on their game behavior. We know, however, that even if you were to provide each player with the right offering, a lot of players never make an in-app purchase. That content is just not relevant to them. Yeah? That's why we're building algorithms to ensure that we show each player the exact right content at the right moment. It could be a promotion for your other game. It could also be an ad, or it could be that virtual good that that player really needs at that moment. One size does not fit all. I could not buy a pair of shoes and expect them to fit every person in this room. That's impossible, yeah? Games aren't any different. Each person has a combination of hardware, software, skills, and interests that create millions of options. Yeah? We want to give you the tools that make your game accessible for everyone and deeply engaging for every person who plays. Thank you very much.